You know who's also fantastic and saved this movie because he can do anything? It's Michael Fassbender. Hey everyone, welcome back to Canon Cinema. I'm Amanda, otherwise known as AMX Indie Reviews on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Today, I will be reviewing the new Taika Waititi film. Next goal wins. This film was supposed to come out maybe five years ago, and I saw this at TIFF. It was a press screening in the morning. I did not know how to feel walking out of that theater. This story is great. I don't think it was in the hands of the right person because this story is very simple. It's an underdog story. It is about the American Samoa team that lost 31 nothing in a brutal 2001 FIFA match to qualify for the World Cup. Very simple. The American Samoa team, the coach, David Fain and Oscar Kitely are so great in this as Ace and Tabitha because they're both coaches on this team. Hilarious. They're so good. You know who's also fantastic and saved this movie because he can do anything? Michael Fassbender. And he plays Thomas Rongan. Here's the thing. You have this beautiful underdog story. It's a lot of fun. Sports films are always great. But you have it from the mind of Taika Waititi. If you know me, I am not a fan of Taika Waititi's humor. I'm not a fan of Thor Ragnarok. I am not a fan of... Or Love and Thunder. It was good because it was like a romantic comedy type of vibe. The humor still doesn't land. The only thing that I kind of liked was Jojo Rabbit because it was different. But I am not a fan of this man's humor. It felt very much like you just stepped into his mind and he took the story. You just plucked it. He's like, I'm going to add my own spin to it. And he did. So if it wasn't for Michael Fassbender... Who carried this? He carried this because the humor with the players, the banter back and forth, some of it didn't land and it was very dry. A lot of it was dry. So you have Fassbender as like this crazy coach. He got fired from multiple positions in America. So he has to go to American Samoa team and he has a past of his own. So obviously when you lose someone, grief can come out in many forms. As long as you can express yourself, it could come out as anger. It can come out in tears. It can come out as like nothing and you're numb. Like I've experienced all of those things. So it can come out in any form. So for Thomas Rongan, it came out as anger and fast bender. When he gets angry, it's a lot of fun to watch. He's fantastic. The humor again, because Fassbender's so talented, it worked for him. But at the same time, I was cringing the entire time I was watching it because it's very YTT. And if you are a massive fan of YTT's humor, like I'm talking like Korg on steroids here for Next Goal Wins, then you'll like it. But it got old real fast. Like many of his films, it gets old real fast. Within maybe the first 15 minutes, it's like, can we not do these jokes? Please. So the one thing that I can kind of say that Next Gold Wins reminds me of is the final season of Ted Lasso. And as much as I love the show, they really fumbled that last season because they're trying to give backstories to multiple players at once, which is kind of what's happening in Next Goal Wins. But there was one that stood out above the rest because there is one trans player on the team named Jaya, who's played by Kimana. And I think the way that their story was handled was poorly done and instead of going through the similar i guess traumatic responses and traumatic situations that a trans athlete goes through i think that that could have just been taken out i don't know why that needed to be dramatized especially because jaya was integrated with the team and there was no harshness there like they just accepted jaya so it made no sense for Rongin to say certain things it just didn't make any sense to me so that's where i feel like they kind of fumbled i didn't like the way that they told the jaya story whatsoever it felt really weird especially in in today's day and age that could kind of be avoided and i think that this feels like a movie that should have come out in like 2010 feels very outdated maybe it's because i haven't seen michael fassbender in a while i don't know what it was it just felt like this movie came from a different time not like 2001 where the story is supposed to take place it's just the fact that it feels like an older film i think that if this was given to someone else it would have worked a bit better for me as like a 
you know, generic underdog story. It's still a great story to tell. It's engaging. The characters are great. It's just the fact that the humor just doesn't work. Like you could tell that there's a general story, like a general feel good, inspiring underdog story. And then there's a whole mess of Taika Waititi on top of it that just fizzles. And the one thing that peeved me, I was so frustrated at this ending. You wait the entire film for this soccer team to play. And the choice that was made by Waititi in that moment for humor, for comedic purposes, aggravated me to no end. And it brought my score down like <laughs> immensely. So I had given next goal wins at TIFF like a three out of five. It was fine. But the more I think about that ending, ugh, it just, it really got to me. So it's like sitting at a two and a five, two and a half, like three. I'll leave it in that range. But man, does this have like YTT written all over it. So if you're a fan of his, by all means, enjoy. If you're not vibing the humor anymore like me, let me know in the comments below how you felt about Next Goal Wins. If you guys enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe. You can always follow me over at AMX ND Reviews on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. And if you guys want to help me grow this wonderful channel, you can find no ways to do that in the bio below. I'll catch you guys next time. Keep watching movies.